Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, this year I'm here for Brandon Murphy, Germany, Germany to World. We're gonna go to war. We're gonna take both the Holy Roman Empire and Great Britain at the same time, because we can. So, oh, and Lithuania. Because we can. Oh, they'll call, they're allied with the Iroquois and a two of the, uh, oh no, I'm so scared. What are you gonna do? We could go for the colonials and stuff. We could show superiority. Or we could take the marches and stuff. So let's look at what our Casus Belli are. Um, concession to the seat. Claim revocation. Monetary reparation. 75%. No. Don't want that. Yes, I like the claiming of things. This would be nice because it's only 25% of the aggressive expansion. Pr problem is, like, we, we don't have the Navy. I don't know if we even need to fight the British Navy. We're, like, a lot bigger than them, but they still have the British Navy. So we're going to go for the marches. Split. Move to there. Move to there. Move to there. Move to there. Move to there, because I think there's a 30 in there, hiding. Now, what I want to do, okay, is Venice is my vassal, so I want to kind of give these back to Venice, because Venice should still have cores on them. Yeah. So I'll separate piece them out, get them to give the cores back to Venice, and we'll maybe even, like, get some other stuff from the Holy Roman Empire, releasing mainly. We could feed uh, Brabant, that's something I really would like to do, start feeding Brabant some stuff. Okay, we just got owned. Yep, we lost our trade fleet. I did say that the trade, like the trade fleet were literally just sent out. I said, oh, they're probably going to get owned as soon as we start a war. They did! It's not really surprising, let's be completely honest. It's not there, let's build it here. One, two, three, four. Something, something, something. Something, something. Something, 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 something. Something, something. One more. Bloody hell. Uh, one more there. There we go. Ah, couldn't kill him. Are we still moving? No. Force march. Just get there quickly because Britain can stop us, which is uh, the downside of putting guys there. Oh! Oh! I, I got overconfident. Britain, Britain are doing okay in this. Britain are doing okay. Oh my god, that is somewhat surprising. Are they literally going to box our units in for the duration of the war? Looks like it. And we might actually lose an entire unit here. Oh, we won. Wow. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to no leader up here. And we're going to teleport a leader in. I should have done that ASAP, but I'm lazy. Um, how many ships have they got? 32. I don't think I can compete with that. I've got, yeah, I've got 45, but that's not enough to compete with Britain. Okay, that's Britain we're talking about. Alright, move down here. We need to kill this unit off. Won't take them in the in the highlands, no. We're gonna try and hopefully force them out of the highlands. If they'll attack us, that'd be grand. Ah, Germany! Well-known German provinces over here. Iceland, did you not know it was German? It's, uh, it's always been German, you just you just didn't know it. Kill you off. Mercenaries, really? Okay. Um, who else have we got? You need to be killed. All mercenaries! 
Denmark, you're weird. One cannon, moving back south. We'll take that fight and then we'll... Uh... Russia are threatening our trade. Wow, Russia, what a dick move. <gasps> I forgot we would inherit a fleet. They're not a very good, good fleet, though. They're mostly galleys, and galleys are going to be really pointless up here. We won't be able to take the Royal Navy. Just know your limits. Know your limits. We can't take the Royal Navy. It's fine. As soon as we notice that guy moving, we'll force march, but... We're just rebuilding our army. We've lost a siege. That's unfortunate. Ooh, actually, if we're going to do this, we should do this properly. Okay, you're sieging fairly fast. I didn't quite expect that. Well, now they die. They may be in mountains, but they don't survive this. Melted! <laughs> I have to admit, I'm, I'm still surprised how quickly they melt. Melt. And then this 52 stack. What time are they going to get there? <sighs> We're going to miss them. There we go. Force them to move. Catch them. It's in hills. Oh no, my, my air dies. Ah, I can lose stability or prestige. I'll, I'll lose a prestige. Oh well. Oh, a 645. I don't mind that that, that guy died at all. Oh, we want a siege over here. You're still blockaded. Now, we'll go to full strength before we do that. And we'll actually probably need to manually decrease our war exhaustion. There we go. Let's boost our stability up a little bit. Right, and let's start telling our guys where to go. We will just have to stamp out this guy, but he's going away from where we can't go, so... Oh! Ah, damn it. You moving? Yeah. No, he's just going backwards and forward, isn't he? It's really annoying. Hmm. How much money are we making? We could get a few more Karaks. I'm feeling that. I don't really mind about just sitting at the War of England for a while. When we beat the Holy Roman Empire, we can get, uh, you know, then we can start worrying. But until then, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm thinking we build a few more Karaks. And then we consider trying to take a sea war. Firstly, let's separate... No, let's not even separate the light ships, right? Ne None of these are trade fleets. None of these are trade fleets. Galleys, galleys. Okay, that has a trade fleet component to it. But we won't be using it. Now, will this tempt them to come? Come on. There's, uh, there's ships moving. Tasty, tasty ships. No. Okay. What I will do, however, is I will build... Oh, I can't... I can't build a... Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay. We're probably going to go on this guy. 
And we're also going to build, I think, a few more Karaks. Well, not Karaks anymore, are they? Anything that faces inwards, and you don't face inwards, so... Nope, you're off the list. Ah, uh, we'll be over our force limit, technically. That's okay, we'll probably lose some in the ensuing fight. It's fine. Ah, uh, there's a big stack here. Let's unseize and we'll hunt that big stack. There we go. Ah, we lost the Battle of the Marches. Oh, that doesn't look good. It's a lot of guys. Let's force March away. Ah, we got caught. And we died. We lost an entire stack of 60. It does happen. It does happen. Um, right, so we need to rule the waves now. We need to beat them. We do outnumber them a lot. Come on. No, we melted. Um, ooh, uh, compromise spy defense. Executing for treason. Uh, I'll lose the admin power. Won the Siege of Ulster. Yay. We lost the naval battle, though. That's awkward. We also need to now build 60 uh, more light ships. One, two, three. Oh, God. Hey! Decrease the value, the cost, though. Not the value, the cost. I must admit, when you're behind in the Navy game, it's just like never taking a battle in the Navy again. It's it's a little bit weird in the U4. I, I don't, I've never found a way to come back from behind when I'm in the Navy game. It's just so expensive to even field a Navy when your Navy's that crap. Admittedly, they have all the Great British ideas and they've probably taken some other ones as well, which will make them uh, pissing annoying on the ocean. Are we up there yet? Come on, guys. A bit more. We can still win against the Holy Roman Empire, right? This isn't like a write-off. Don't worry about that. There we go. And we need I guess we need a couple more, just in case. We also need to start building more three-deckers. Three deckers everywhere. Give me your three deckers. Okay. So that's the 60 that I'm worried about. But I want to unsiege these, then we'll go on them. Unfortunately, it's not going so well. Um, claim Zealand. Chief Religious Unity. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We can achieve religious unity. I must admit, I don't know why there's not a crossing here when there is a crossing here. Hmm. I guess this is a little bit closer, but still. This is going to be a drawn out battle. I have no idea what we're going to do about the British mainland. Should have had an extra stack. There we go. Boom. Actually, we should go up to there and then across. you across to there. Right, so uh, we should probably go up to here actually and hurt Lithuania a little bit. Like, we can now. We have the time. So you go to here actually. It's the one with the general that needs to go up. Come on. 
Go up, go up there. Uh, Lithuania. Go up top there. Oh, we've, no, I've got to stay there because we've lost the Siege of Bahamafald. Nope, go top there. Attack, attack Lithuania. Ooh, this guy's moving. I really want to kill him. Go, go chase. Go top chase him. And we'll also siege Wales, that's fine though, because we're winning everything else. We won the Battle of Riga, because we're awesome. I might take one province off uh, Lithuania. We can't separate peace out, can we? Ah, uh, I was thinking we could separate peace out, and then I remembered what- Oh, coalition war, you can't separate peace. That's probably good. We can't really separate peace, otherwise, uh... Britain would be kind of having a field day. Oh, well. Come on, die. Here we go, here we go, there's a battle going on. It's in mountains, but we're just wasting them as well. Come on, die. They melted. I'm pretty happy with that. Go up to Bahamavald. Um, you. You're just standing still. Come down here and siege Treviso. I don't know what we can do about Britain. Like, look at that. Like, even if, even if we came out of here, they'd come for us and destroy us. We need to actually recruit a new 60 stack, but I don't really want to do that when people are running around and can kill us. I wanted to take London by the end of the campaign. Damn it! That's that's costly. Losing that has cost us massively. Gain some manpower! Yay! Let's go hunting. Hunting! Uh, better leave it be. I don't want to attack anymore. That's unfair. Don't pick on Brabant. What do they ever do to you? Well, technically they're at war with you. But still, I stand by what I said. Lose stability or religious regiments. I'll, I'll lose stability. Too busy. Now oh, we've lost the siege up there against Lithuania. No, it's all going wrong. Oh god, the Ottomans are actually doing fairly well on this one. Come on, Ottomans, die. Not on Ottomans. What are we talking about Ottomans for? I don't know sometimes. Okay. Might as well start converting these. Um, we need to convert Antwerp. We won't be able to convert Calais for a while, which is annoying. And that's our mission. Hmm. Right, you need to go up here and kill this off. And then we can get military. And we won the Siege of Verona, yes! That's really good for us. Let's go up there and kill them off and then come back. We may be doing this in the middle of a war, but it doesn't matter. 
Um, mixed old infantry, I tend to be fighting forwards. Um, you need to be... Ooh, ooh. I'm going to go with um, Lancers. They've got a nice attack. Actually, no, we'll go Curious. Uh, and, yeah, Flying Battery's the same. Oh, they've come back quickly. Ignorance is bliss. Lose prestige. Cool, because we're just about to get more prestige. Well, Lithuania melted. Get all the war score. I don't mind getting all the war score. Can quite have. What? Ayutthaya? Sent troops from here to here. Aethea sent troops up here. What the hell? Also, we should make a thing over here. Uh, fabricate claim. Claim fabrication, claim fabrication. Oh. We need a neighboring province, but we've got these guys. <sighs> Fine, we'll keep going. What? 37 regiments rise from Vohamavald, 28 regiments rise from Linz, 29 regiments in Ostmarsh, 23 in Niederbayern, 32, uh, no, yeah, 29 in Moravia, 32 in Oberthalf, 48 in Bohemia, 20 in Bamberg, 27 in Urs, 24 in Saxony. Or we could lower taxes. Oh, bollocks. I didn't think they were that good. Reduce war exhaustion some more. I really didn't think they were that good. When we go to war next time, our entire army will be in Great Britain, right? We lost the Siege of Calais to Aethea. We've won the Siege of Gauze. Which is nice because, well, we're going to probably attack uh, the Holy Roman Empire soon. Come on, Gauze. Move, 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 move. Get to Gauze. Oh, there we go. There's a 36 running ray there. Can we get there in time, do you think? Yeah. Melt. Melt faster. Melt faster. We've lost the Siege of Orkney. We've lost the Siege of Linz. That's annoying. Battle of Nida Bayon. Now go kill him. And then kill this guy. And then move here. What is the war goal? Marches. Wow, that's costing us 20 war score. Uh, I I've, I've, can't get any more battle war score. I've completed all the battle war score possible. But I, I can't get the marches, so that's going to cost us 20 war score and tick upwards. Wow. What will we want to be piecing out for? Okay, we should probably look at this. Um, 50 war score to release Scotland. I really like that. I really want to do that. <laughs> Because I could probably vassalize them. But we're never going to get that much war score. Could feed that to Riga. I'm thinking we probably have to take a, an out now. And we've got two promises that we can give back here. 
we get ducats as well? No. Like, I would like more Irish promises, but I don't think that's an option. And if we do it now, we can probably get a, an extra war in before the end of the game. Venice, welcome back! Oh, that wasn't a hard fought war at all. Right, um. Now, I should probably move you here where you've actually got tax bases that can support you. Move to there. Move to there. Okay, overall, I've got to say that was an incredibly poor war for us. I should have put double in the mainland. If we'd put double in mainland in England, we'd have won that. We would have won that easy. But I, I switched out. We'd have had trouble without the extra unit against the Holy Roman Empire, but having trouble and losing are two different things. I think we'd have been fine. And you need to move. Move to... There we go. And let's sort out this fleet. Because we need to get the guys back from Wales. Not from Wales, from Ireland. The guys in Wales are dead. And you're meant to be go home at war, protect trade in Baltic Sea? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> sad that it had to go down like that, but it had to go down like that. It's just just unfortunate. Now what have we got here? Six short. Six short. That's really annoying. Just six of them. Six of the bastards. And uh, spares. And some triple deckers. So at least we can take on, like, France. Will we able to take on England? God, no. Never going to be able to take on England, but we can take on France, maybe. Um, you need to group up, and let's check what we have for our trade right about now. So, Zanzibar, Gulf of Zambi, um, yeah, Zanzibar, trade node, Bengal, Baltic Sea. So, you are Western Europe, as per usual. Sort by amount of money? Hmm... Come on, where's Western Europe? There we go. Get me all the ducats. I'm making so much money now. But we need to build up another army. I think I'm going to end the episode there. I'll build up the army in between. I'm just going to give the orders because it's again going to be me building 120 units. Ugh. Ugh, 120 units. It's just going to take time and be boring. I can't wait until Art of Wars makes that so much simpler. Anyway, this has been your winners. That's for Brandon Moto Germany. Not a great episode. But we did manage to get stuff to feed Venice, and Venice is looking pretty damn fine. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that immensely. And they also got the bonus for a turn territory, so we'll soon we'll be able to uh, anal uh, analyze, annex them, and they'll uh, be very tasty. Let's just check our progress expansion before we leave. Big. 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 a shame. Well, we can annex you, Norway. Oh, not for a while, because you hate us. Aggressive expansion, 136. Um, will that help? <laughs> I don't mind if the Norwegian Patriots, like, win. Sweden flips that to Norway. They both belong to me. Ah. <sighs> Oh, and Canada have started winning the war against Britain because Britain were busy. God damn it, Britain. Okay, Britain, next time you are getting flattened. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I'm just ignoring mainland Europe. Put everyone in there and we're just going to take you for everything you're worth. Because once we've got all of your stuff, we'll be singing happy. I might 
leave something in the continent, I guess. But I'll build I'll build an extra stack this time around. I'm not getting forward. For me once. Shame on me. For me twice. One more shame on me, I guess. I'm in Trilisium. If you liked the episode, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed and you want to help the war against Great Britain, please subscribe. As per usual, stay shiny. <laughs>